pneumonia is going around and doctors were sure that he had it. This past Sunday, he came home from his grannies and had the worst cough, nonstop coughing all day long. I was giving him cough medicine. I was giving him a tablespoon of honey every now and then. I had Vicks going, Vicks on his feet. I had Vicks on his chest. I had onions cut up beside of him. Literally nothing I was doing was helping. So we ended up at urgent care. They gave him a breathing treatment and mentioned asthma. It was up the majority of the night, Sunday night, and this was early early Monday morning and this is how he was breathing and it scared me to death. So after I got my kids off to school we went to the emergency room and there and the doctor came in and was listening to his lungs. She was shaking her head to her physician assistant and she was sure that it was pneumonia. Yeah. Wanted to monitor him for a little while. They gave him a breathing treatment and I swear after the breathing treatment the child was good. Hi, my name is Dr. Rubin. I'm a board certified allergist. I hope that he is feeling much better at this time and I want to help raise awareness towards some of the issues that were presented in that video. The first being is that they showed some signs of respiratory distress in that child. He was breathing where his neck was tugging and his chest was tugging. We call that retractions and that is worth having a conversation with your doctor about because if that continues to happen, they may have a hard time breathing and that could be potentially life-threatening. Another issue is that they mentioned asthma as a possibility for what is going on. Now, when you have a young child, children often wheeze when they're younger, but don't necessarily have asthma. A lot of that has to do with the fact that young kids have smaller airways. And so when there's a little bit of inflammation due to an infection, it causes those tiny airways to get even tinier. And so when you breathe out, it makes this musical squeaking sound that sounds like wheezing, which we normally associate with asthma, but they don't actually have that disease. Lastly, I want to mention that over the last several weeks, we are seeing more cases of walking pneumonia, which a lot of them are due to a bacteria called mycoplasma pneumonia. So this is a type of pneumonia where you're getting inflammation in the lower airways that doesn't make you super sick, where you're bedridden, hence the term walking pneumonia, but you can be pretty sick with a pretty significant cough, a little bit of difficulty breathing, you may have a fever, and on a chest x-ray you see kind of these non-specific hazy patterns that are occurring, and it's definitely worth talking to your doctor about because they may or may not prescribe you some antibiotics to help with this.